This is it. In November 2007, Tim Miller and Dave Holloway went to New Iberia, Louisiana to see off the research vessel named Persistence. Your boat says it all, Persistence. (laughs) Yeah. And I've been persistent. Tim's been persistent and everybody else is going to be persistent. And just as Persistence was leaving port, a bombshell. The three main suspects, Uren Vandersloot and brothers Deepak and Satish Kalpo, were rearrested. Dave Holloway broke his vow and rushed back to Aruba along with Beth for special meetings with prosecutors. They were asked to bring medical records. To their horror, though, they say they ended up talking not about new evidence, but were asked probing questions about Natalie's character. They kept saying that Natalie, you know, was a drug user. She'd never had a history of drug use. She'd never been in drug rehab. I thought, that then they don't have anything. They don't have anything, you know. Natalie's parents were even more infuriated when all three suspects were released again. Aruban authorities soon put the case on hold. Natalie's father had only one glimmer of hope to cling to. And when this went out, I thought, gosh, the only thing I can hold on to is, is this boat search. I said, that's my last hope. That's my very last hope. She has always been calling us back. In December 2007, Miller returned to Aruba and based on his theory and study of water currents, literally drew a line in the sand. That's where she's at right there. And Dateline was there when the persistence was ready to sail. I stepped down the boat and said, Natalie, we're coming to get you. Now we're finally coming to get you. And, and, I, and I still believe that from the bottom of my heart that, that she's out here and now we're on our way. Over the holiday season, the crew of the Persistence worked day and night to survey the ocean floor and look for targets that could hold the key to finding Natalie. On Christmas Eve, sonar pictures revealed what looked like a large trap, almost exactly where Tim Miller theorized it would be. And on December 29th, the crew dropped a remote-operated vehicle, or ROV, into the water to get a closer look. It looked like a skull. So you're thinking. It still looks like a skull. You're thinking at this point? I think at this point, oh my God, maybe we've got something. Maybe we've got something. Could they have found her? Or was hope perhaps making them see what they wanted to see? In my years of searching, we've seen several bodies, skeletal remains. Uh, I've seen my own daughter's skeletal remains. I can't help but believe at this moment that. uh, that that is human remains uh, in, in that crab trap. Tim Miller couldn't help but think that the date they first saw that trap, Christmas Eve, was a sign that just maybe they were onto something. Maybe that was some of God's timing again. Maybe Beth and Dave can have uh, what they've been looking for for two, two and a half years. So I got a phone call from Tim. And what did he say? He told me, he said, Dave, we found her. We found her. Yeah. I said, are you sure? And he said, I'm 99.9% sure. He said, we hadn't gone down and dove on her or anything, but the photographs. He, he said, I tell you, Dave, that's, he said, that's what we're looking for, and that's, got it, that, that's it. Did you think that was it? I did. And the Holloways weren't alone. The next day, Aruban authorities, including Chief Prosecutor Hans Moss, came on board to see for themselves. And we showed them what we had. I think they got real interested, too. I mean, we all thought we had something. The Aruban authorities agreed the find looked promising, and finally, divers from the Persistence and the Aruban police set out to get an up-close look. Everything was going right. That morning there was actually a double rainbow. When we got started, there was a rainbow? A double rainbow. Not just one rainbow, a double rainbow. Another sign from above? A school of dolphins followed the persistence as it sailed out to the target. And I know I looked at somebody in the boat and I said, "The, the dolphins are going with us to go ahead and get Natalie. We're at the spot. Ready to go down. It's... Now only a matter of minutes that we'll know. 
from the depths, there'd be an answer. Who or what had the search team found? And what did this mysterious caller say he'd found? Why would somebody stoop that low to do something like this? When the search for Natalie Holloway continued. 